Good evening, Mr. Bond fans. A little while ago in the lead-up to No Time to Die, I made a video where I went back and reviewed, rated, ranked the Daniel Craig era Bond trailers. I had an awful lot of fun making that video, and there were some comments suggesting that I go back and look at trailers for previous Bonds. And being the massive Pierce Brosnan fan that I am, you didn't need to ask me twice, so I may have to pad the video out a bit when it comes to ranking George Lazenby's trailers. So with all that being said, let's get started with the GoldenEye teaser trailer. It's a new world, with new enemies, and new threats. I suppose we don't have a uh, ominous trailer voiceover man uh, doing all of this. Oh, nice. Oh, nice gun barrel. Oh, yes. I love this trailer music. No more foreplay. Name's Bond. James Bond. any, like, dialogue voiceover in this trailer at all. It really does let that music take the lead, and why not when you have a track as amazing as that? Oh, nice. Lovely. Absolutely love it. That is one kick-ass teaser trailer, and as I say, like, I was expecting a bit of, like, trailer voiceover to, to uh, you know, I, I just equate that with kind of 90s movie trailers. I'm surprised that they had none of that. Uh, and very little dialogue as well. That track, though, is just awesome. I remember it was on the 40th anniversary Best of Bond uh, compilation. They had all of the title tracks um, up to that point, except Die Another Day, I think. Uh, and then on the end, they had that track um and the moby uh one from tomorrow never dies as well and i remember just listening to that track over and over and over again whilst i don't have any personal nostalgia for that trailer um that music just ah uh, i had goosebumps watching that that was awesome okay this is a bit of a sidebar but uh in my high school music class <laughs> we had this uh recurring assignment where each week we the, the music teacher would end the lesson by uh, having one of us bring in a CD and we would play a track for a piece of music that we love or means a lot or something like that. And I'm so not a music person, but I had my Best of Bond CD because I think it was like the only CD I had and I brought it in. And I requested that they play that. And so my entire high school music class was like sat there <laughs> listening to this. I think I was the only person to actually have an instrumental uh, track and my music teacher's just like, hmm. So do you, uh, do you do your homework when you listen to it? And I'm like, yeah, I guess sure, whatever. Okay, well that was an excellent start to things. Let's see if the theatrical trailer can keep the good vibes going. When the world Here we go. Is the target. 72 hours ago. Trailer voiceover guy. Was detonated over seven and the threat is real. GoldenEye exists. A radiation surge that destroys everything with an electronic circuit. You can still depend on one man. On one man. I want you to find GoldenEye. Three. Find who took it. Two. And stop it. One. Using that music again, I guess. And why not? Brilliant James track. Bond. James Bond. The world's most famous secret agent is back. We aim to please. And this time, 007 is facing the ultimate enemy. The man who knows him best. Hello, James. What an unpleasant surprise. 006. What's the matter? No pithy <laughs> He was a friend. They just give away! Is the satellite in range? The big target is twist of the film. Now, the entire world is about to be caught in the crossfire. See you in hell, James. You first. 
Wow. The pleasure will be all mine. Do you check her out? Head to toe. Three clicks, arms the fuse. Don't say it. The writing's on the wall. Grow up, double O Soviet. I think you're a sexist, misogynist dinosaur, a relic of the Cold War. <laughs> no, James, I was always better. Both of you, stop it. You like boys with toys. Nice. <laughs> I love that little shot of Brosnan they put in right after oh, M's line. Charming, sophisticated secret agent. Shaken, but not disturbed. <laughs> Get us out of here! Bond, only Bond. Man just won't take a hint. If I need the gun. That depends on your definition of safe sex. On November 17th. Rabbit! United Artists brings you... Trust me. James Bond. Why can't you just be a good boy and die? That's one trick I've never learned. <laughs> nice stunt to end on. I can't believe that they give away that story detail. I know that this thing came out at a time where you couldn't, you know, there, there were people like me just waiting to get the trailers to go through them frame by frame to analyze them in nauseating detail. But even if you were just seeing that, like, they, they sell that twist as, like, one of the main elements of the story, and I, I'm, I'm kind of stunned at that. And I know that, obviously, if you watch the film, Sean Bean is, like, second build in the credits. You would assume that he would be coming back in some capacity, if you're savvy to that kind of thing, if you look at credits and, and, and know about these things, whereas uh, that just flat out tells you, okay, this guy's the main villain, and I'm really surprised at that, particularly when you have so many other villains in there that you could set up as a, as a misleading, like, you know, you could have set up Orumov in that trailer as being the main villain or something like that, but, um, wow, yeah, I'm just baffled that there was no attempt at all to preserve that twist. Okay, so when it comes to ranking, just out of those two, the Golden Eye teaser trailer is easily uh, my favourite of the two. Uh, so that one's gonna go above, and then Golden Eye theatrical um, at the bottom. Like, how could you give away that plot detail? That's crazy. Okay, well, on to Tomorrow Never Dies now. Let's see if this gives away. I don't know, Paris Carver dying <laughs> or something like that. Ah, this is that Golden Eye trailer music again. Yesterday is a memory. Today is history. Oh, it's so cheesy. I love Tomorrow it. Tomorrow is in the hands of one man. I like the red gun barrel stuff. Bond. You know the rest. Oh, very, very good. Tomorrow never dies. Now shooting around the world. Now shooting around the world. That's, uh, you don't often hear that in trailers. <laughs> we promise you they're filming it. I guess that explains why there's very few uh, shots from the actual film in there. Huh. You would hope that they would be shooting the film when they release the bloody teaser trailer. Okay, that had vibes quite similar to the GoldenEye uh, teaser trailer. Uh, I do like the- I wish they did a bit more of that still these days, where they, the stuff that they shoot specifically for the trailers, like I do kind of like Brosnan coming out and you know the rest, all that kind of stuff. It gives a bit of an extra reason to go back and look at these things, which I quite like when there's bits of footage that's not in the final film. So going into the theatrical trailer, I'm guessing we're going to get a lot more plot in this one. Let's see what they give away. Action stations. Aye, aye, sir. Sound the general alarm. The Chinese pilot insists we're inside their territorial waters and he will fire. An act of violence. Torpedo, torpedo, torpedo. It was an unprovoked attack on a ship in international waters. The promise of war. And instead of decisive action, all you want to do is investigate. My goal is to prevent World War Three, Admiral. Now, the world has only one chance for peace. When will our ships be in position? 48 hours. And just one man for the job. 
Bond. <laughs> James Bond. Oh, nice editing that. How Elliot much do you Carver know about Elliot Carver, 007? Worldwide media band. Same no Golden Eye trailer music again. TV. There's no news. Like bad news. I understand you once had a relationship with Carver's wife. Was it something Ooh, that was a better slapping the sound than the one they used back. in the final film. That had I'm from the new power behind agency. it. Wait. Looking for a new story? You could have taken care of him. Let the mayhem begin. Your new BMW. Will you need collision Oh, coverage? nice. Yes. Like this music. Property destruction? Definitely. Personal injury. Accidents do happen. Throw up 007. You seem to have developed a certain attachment. I get to work with a decadent agent of a corrupt Western power. I think you found the right decadent, corrupt Western agent as a partner. Phase two is underway. Oh, we're back in the GoldenEye trailer music now. It's an approximation of it, at least. What the hell is he doing? His job. The world belongs. To Bond. When you remove Mr. Bond's heart, there should just be enough time for him to watch it stop beating. I would have thought watching your TV shows was torture enough. Nice line to end on, but some of the music editing at the end there gets a bit funky. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I didn't feel like it really had a, a great climax to it as a trailer. But it didn't give away too much of the plot, which is nice. Just like these nice little details introduces Elliot Carver and Wayne Lynn. So that's, that's okay. Okay, when it comes to ranking these, I'm going to put the Tomorrow teaser above the theatrical teaser. Um... And they're just going to sandwich in there between the between the golden eyes. I'm still I'm going to hold it against that golden eye theatrical trailer that it gave away that plot point. I still can't believe that. Okay, next up is the world is not enough. Um, 1999 teaser trailer. Let's go. Some men want to rule the world. Oh, I love premature Some CGI like this. Ask for the world. Some believe the world is theirs for the Another taking. Another bit of trailer voice guy. But for one man, the world is not enough. I was going to be 007, yes. Kind of retro Bond theme going on here. First things first. Wow, I, that really... Huh. The world oh. is not enough. Nice graphic. <laughs> oh, huh. They really doubled down on the whole 60s Bond theme sound there. I don't know, were they playing in some kind of like 60s nostalgia in the 90s? Yeah, very interesting and slightly weird choice that let's see if the theatrical trailer goes for something a little more contemporary as the countdown begins to the 21st century love it's it to know there is still one number you can always count on 007 bond bond Oh, nice. Can't you just say hello like a normal person? Lovely edit there. Renard is behind this. He will die along with everyone in the city. We do not negotiate with terrorists. His only goal is nice. chaos. Nice. Bit of David Arnold. I sent 009 to kill Renard. He put a bullet in his head. A bullet's still there. He feels no pain. He can push himself harder, longer than any normal man. No hard feelings, Mr. Bond. It appears that you have been beaten. No! Don't make this personal. I can't do that. I just can't help thinking I'm next. New model. The very latest in interception countermeasures. And six beverage cup holders. I've always tried to teach you two things. First, never let them see you bleed. And the second? Always have an escape plan. 
for the world's greatest secret agent. You have to clear yes. tons of these, right? When the stakes are high. Yeah, but they're usually standing still. Life's full of small challenges. And the danger hits too close to home. He has M. By noon tomorrow, you'll feel nothing at all. I thought it was your job to protect me. It's not just professional. Someone's tampered with the bomb. It's personal. I have to get it back, or somebody's gonna have my butt. First things first. Edit that. <laughs> I'm gonna find him. Who's afraid now, Mr. Bond? I will not miss. I never miss. Do you want to put that in English for those of us who don't speak spy? Why am I suddenly worried I'm not carrying enough insurance? Your time is up. The world is not enough. Love it. That was fantastic revealed just the right level of plot like considering how the golden eye theatrical trailer went i was like are they just gonna flat out say that electra is the main villain but no it it misleads the audience which is really cool because it kind of sets up renard as the main villain it does uh reveal the detail that m is kidnapped but i still think that how that how how they how they set it up there as in he has kidnapped her as opposed to electra kidnapping her W works very nicely. I, I think that that is, uh, is a good tease of the plot that does not give away the main twist of it. And I love that music as well. That, that I had goosebumps, that bit where Bond's going up the, uh, the submarine, that bit. Just, oh, love it. Okay, well, that is my second favourite after the Golden Eye teaser, that theatrical trailer, so that's going second. Um, as for the teaser trailer i wasn't that keen on it i i don't know if the the kind of retro uh music choice was a bit fell a bit flat for me so i'm actually gonna put that towards the bottom it's gonna be just above the golden eye theatrical trailer okay so now we are moving on to a couple of trailers that uh i do actually have some fond nostalgia for the dying of the day teasers i was uh, about 12 years old in 2002 i was fully on the bond fan bandwagon by that point i was so hyped for it um i remember like going to the cinema specifically like to see stuff just hoping that the, like one of those trailers would be attached to it but i haven't been back to the in some time, so let's see if they hold up. Teaser trailer first. When danger becomes a temptation, when every move that's such a fantastic visual. Edge. Sand dunes, each day, coming when winning. It's your last, there's a surprise around every curve. Nice. Is this the Golden Eye teaser music again? Pierce Brosnan. Die another day. Cool. Nice. Very nice. Love all the ice stuff. Um if that isn't the exact same music as the Golden Eye teaser trailer, then it's a very close approximation of it. Nice clips of the film. I like all of the. I wish they did more of that. Like I said, like, you know, these specifically shot for the trailer stuff, like the sand dunes revealed to be a load of naked women. I think it's such a fantastic visual. It's obviously something that you wouldn't have in the film unless it's in the title sequence, but it's such a such a great tease it's such a nice image to hook uh an audience onto okay well that was pretty good let's see if the theatrical trailer holds up too betrayed captured how do we not have trailer voiceover guy doing this stuff you abandoned the mission was compromised the same person who set me up then has just set me up again. So I'm going after him. What is this music? Tell me what you know of James Bond. He'll light the fuse on any explosive situation. Tell it's me the Bond deal. blow it all at once. What happened to you? Bond. And be a danger to himself and others. I'm going to let him mix things up a little. My friends call me Jinx. My friends call me James Bond. Wow, now there's a mouthful. Who sent you? 
your mama. Glad you can make it, Mr. Bond. I see you don't chase dreams, you live them. One of the virtues of never sleeping, I have to live my dreams. Time to draw the line. This doesn't even feel like a Bond trailer with this music. Oh wait, here we go, okay. Become useful again. Kicked in now. It's time you let me get on with my job. So, this is where they keep the old relics, eh? Twist so, voila! No, you're cleverer than you look. Better than looking cleverer than you are. James, be careful. A nice palace can be such a treacherous place. I take it Mr. Bond's been explaining his Big Bang Theory. Yeah, I think I got the thrust of it. Must you touch everything? Would you like to show me more? Kill him. Now! 1,000 meters and closing. Put you back in third, eh? Let's get down to business. Looks like we're going down together. Not yet! <laughs> I love all this cheesy ice stuff. Brilliant. Huh. Well, we bookend these trailers <laughs> without Trailer Guy. He wasn't in that Golden Eye teaser and he wasn't in this one. Something about that, that the music that plays through most of it, very unbondian. It feels almost like you're not even watching a Bond trailer, which is, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't a fan of it. So when it comes to ranking those, I think... I do really like that teaser trailer for Dine of the Day still. I think it's got some very cool graphics in there. Um, really like the, the music, obviously. Uh, so I'm actually going to put that third. Actually, I'm going to GoldenEye teaser trailer, World's Not Enough Theatrical, and then Dine of the Day teaser. The Dine of the Day theatrical, I was not a fan of. Um, so that is going to go below the World's Not Enough teaser, but above the Golden Eye Theatrical trailer, because that Golden Eye Theatrical trailer, I'm not going to get over how <laughs> bad it was revealing that one of the key sort of surprises or intended surprises of the film. I wonder if the screenwriters for Golden Eye, like, so just sat in the cinema, saw that and just thought, well, pff, why'd I even bother? Pretty great batch of trailers there, all in all, though. Um, I think some real gems in there. That Golden Eye teaser trailer is just, ah. Oh, wonderful um absolutely adore that trailer am i being too harsh on the theatrical trailer for golden i do let me know in the comments section below if i'm uh, overreacting a bit to that um but uh yes please do let me know your own rankings as well in the comment section below also below you can find links to my various social media pages including my facebook page my twitter page my instagram page and my patreon page if you want to go one extra step in supporting this channel. But you don't even need to leave YouTube to support this channel. Um, below this video there is a subscribe button if you have not already subscribed to this channel and you've enjoyed this video then please do consider hitting that. You can also hit the like button if you've liked this video and uh, also if you want to stay really up to date on future video uploads that I make on this channel you can click the Mrs. Bell button below for uh, up to date notifications. With all that being said and until next time Bond fans, so long for now.